Hey everybody, welcome back to Touchboards. Today we're looking at the Anthro Yes Charging Cabinet. So the Yes Charging Cabinet's available in two flavors, the mini laptop version, which is what we have here, and the tablet version. They're made specifically for what they are, so the tablet is made specifically for tablets, the mini laptop is made specifically for mini laptops and Chromebooks. The tablet cabinet can hold up to 20 units. This one for mini laptops can hold up to 12. Each of the shelves inside are adjustable with adjustable dividers, as is the Yes Carts. And uh, we're going to take a look inside and walk you through it. But first, I just want to show you outside here. Uh, it's sturdy metal construction, a white and gray powder coat. I've got a solid laminate top and bottom on the cabinet. It's really very sturdy, and it looks really good. It'll work pretty much anywhere. We've got real heavy duty hinges on all the doors. On our front door here, as you can see, we have some ventilation. We have ventilation on all the sides. Uh, but here we have a locking door handle, and there's a hasp here, so you can put a padlock on it if you wanted to. Over on the side, this is the IT side. We have more ventilation, as I mentioned, and we have another locking handle on this side. So everything's nice and secure once it's locked up. So now we're going to take a look on the inside. I'm going to show you how this cabinet works. All right, so to open the main door of our Yes cabinet, just come over to the handle here, and as long as it's not locked, you just lift it up and you turn it. That'll unlatch the door so you can swing it open. And inside you'll see two shelves with dividers. Now each of these dividers is removable. And you do that by just grabbing a little tab on the bottom, pushing it, the divider will pop out. So you can adjust these, put them at whatever width you'd like. They come one and one quarter inches wide, but you can make them a little wider or not as wide if you wanted to. But keep in mind, whenever you adjust these dividers, you are going to change the number of devices that you can fit in the cabinet. So that divider will just snap back into place wherever you want it to, and then you're ready to go. Now one other adjustment you can make in here is the height of the shelf itself. So you might notice that there's a screw here and here on the bottom shelf as well. Uh, on the other side, in the back of the cabinet, is the same screw uh, on each of these shelves, and they are accessible just by removing the dividers. So once you take those two screws out, this whole shelf can lift up and come out of here, and you can adjust the height on it. Sit it wherever you want to go along these rails. There's even a little diagram right here on the door to show you how to do it, so it's pretty easy. But by adjusting those shelves, it allows you to either slide your device in in a landscape format, or in a portrait format, like so, depending on where the charging port is. It could be beneficial to maybe stand them up or, or lay them down on the side. But again, that's going to depend on your particular device. So once you get this cabinet, set it up, and you'll be ready to go. So now we're going to talk about how to wire up this whole thing. So now we're on what we like to call the IT side of our cabinet. If you're looking at the front, it's on the right-hand side. This is the front over here. This is our IT side. Again, we have a locking handle over here. We just turn that, door opens up. So first thing you're going to notice is this power cord. This is the main power cord for the cabinet. Uh, there's a hole in the back over here. You feed the power cord through. That way you can keep it plugged in while the door is closed. These two things right here are our power brick shelves. You're going to set the bricks for your laptops on those or, or your tablet. You keep your wires for your tablet coiled up on here. And then right here is our 12 power outlets. For the tablet cabinet, there's 20, but this is the mini laptop, so there's only 12. Uh, now I want to talk about how you would wire up your devices in this cabinet. So you want to start by taking the charging cord for your device. You plug it in back here. Then you can take the power brick if it has one, or you just coil up the cord. You'll get wire wraps with this. You can keep those right on the shelves here. And then you're going to take the rest of that power cord and feed it through the side. Uh, this is a pass-through into the other side where the shelves are and the devices go. So, I'm just going to take it around to that side and show you what you do. So, we're back in here now. Your wires are going to be coming out the side here. You'll just feed them through the front. And on our dividers, there's cable management. So you're just going to weave it through the top of the divider. Again, you can take the divider out and do that. You can leave it in there, however you want to do it. Uh, and then you can just leave some slack with the power cord hanging off. 
uh, set it up so that way when you slide your computer in, you can just take it, plug it in, and you're good to go. You can pull back any slack you need to back on this side, keep everything nice and neat. And uh, the one thing that I didn't mention was on this side, there is a power switch. So when you want it to charge, you just hit that switch and everything can charge. And that is within the IT side, so it is locked up as well. So no one unauthorized will be able to access that switch. So what do you get with your Anthro Yes cabinet? Well, right here, there's four keys. So you're gonna get four keys with it. Those are gonna open both doors. I haven't taken these off yet, but they're gonna be zip tied right to this divider. So you won't be able to lose them. So make sure you don't lose them when you cut them off. You're also gonna get in this little bag here, a complete instructions on how to use and install your cabinet. You're gonna get Velcro wire wraps here, so keep everything nice and organized. You're gonna get this screwdriver. That'll let you take the screws out for those adjustable shelves. You're gonna need this to do that. And then you get all the hardware to mount it to a wall or onto a countertop. So stay tuned for our next video where we're gonna walk you through the steps to mount one of these cabinets and secure it to a countertop. I'll see you then.